Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here once again. By now, you all have a pretty good idea of what we do here. It's probably why you keep coming back. We make components that educate, inspire, and make prototyping simpler and faster so that end users can come up with end projects. It can be something simple like a light reactive LED for a kid's bedroom, or something more complex like the Mars rover. But every once in a while, we'll take a look at our components and an end project will just crystallize before us. That's what happened with the new SparkFun RTK Surveyor. The RTK Surveyor is an out-of-the-box solution for millimeter-level accuracy and positioning. It combines two of our favorite components, the ZF9P GNSS unit and the ESP32 room. Now let's take a quick look at both of these components and see what happens when they combine and their twin powers activate. On the positioning side, the U-Blocks ZF9P module allows for concurrent reception of GPS, GLONASS, Galileo, and Beidou signals. Its current draw is between 68 and 130 milliamps, depending on constellations and tracking state. Its time to first fix is 25 seconds cold and 2 seconds hot. Basic navigation rates are 25 hertz with PVT, 20 hertz with RTK, and 25 hertz raw. Horizontal accuracy is 2.5 meters without RTK and 10 millimeters with RTK. So impressive. Maximum altitude for this unit is 50 kilometers or about 31 miles, and maximum velocity is 500 meters per second or about 1,118 miles per hour. The transceiver side relies on the ESP32 room with its Extensa dual core 32 bit LX6 microprocessor, 4 megabytes of flash storage, 520K of SRAM, and up to 240 megahertz clock frequency. It offers an integrated 802.11 BGN Wi-Fi transceiver, integrated dual mode Bluetooth, both classic and BLE, and multiple options for hardware accelerated encryption. On its face, the RTK surveyor has a pair of rocker switches and eight LEDs. On the left side, there's a power switch with its corresponding LED, which will change colors depending on your battery's charge, along with three LEDs indicating Bluetooth pairing, RTK connection, and pulses per second. On the other side, the switch allows you to toggle between using as a base station or a rover. The LEDs on this side show you horizontal accuracy. The unit's internal battery is a 1000 milliamp hour LiPo with 500 milliamp charging. Across the top, there's a port to connect the unit to a serial telemetry radio, an SMA connector for the antenna, a pair of USB-C ports should you decide to reconfigure the ESP32 or U-Blox module, and additionally charge the internal battery. There's a 4-pin data port, a micro SD slot, and finally a quick connector, because you never know. Now to get up and running, you're going to need a couple more things. Uh, at the very least, you'll need an antenna and the cable running to the unit, both of which are linked on the product page. If you want to go with a full rig like this, you'll also need a pair of telemetry radios, which are also available on our site and linked. And just to make life easier, we've gone with a monopod and a universal cell phone clamp. You can get them anywhere. We just went with the ones that were inexpensive and available next day. And finally, you're going to need an adapter, quarter inch to 5 eighths inch, to go from your monopod up to the antenna, also available on our site. The really cool thing about this device is that it can be used in three different ways either as a positioning unit, a positioning unit with RTK, or as a base station. Now, as a simple positioning unit, you'll just add an antenna and it will receive L1 and L2 signals, giving you a horizontal and vertical accuracy of about 30 centimeters. Not terrible, but not amazing by our current standards. Now, in positioning with RTK mode, it will receive L1 and L2 signals over the antenna, and then it will receive correction data from a base station. And this can either be over an internet connection or via a radio. And that's when you get into your 14 millimeter accuracy. And thirdly, as a base station, this will be in a fixed position on a tripod or perhaps a roof or a building. It will have a known position and it will be sending correction data to this unit. That's when things get really cool. As you can probably guess, we have a base station up on the roof at SparkFun HQ. One of the coolest things about the RTK Surveyor is its insane accuracy in real-time positioning. And one of the best ways to see that is to have a base unit, a rover, and a cell phone or tablet. Using an app like SW Maps, your rover can receive GNSS data from, you know, space, RTK data from your base unit, and it can take that and send it to your phone via Bluetooth. You'll be able to see on that app exactly where you are and even see any slight movement like this. Now, Nathan and I were talking about this, and he had an idea he thought might make a good demo. He was really right. 
so as you know, I'm doing most of my work from home, like most of us are, but every week or two, I have to run into the building, into SparkFun, and pick up the new products that I need to demo. Well, that gave me a great opportunity to try out the demo that Nate suggested. So now let's go to Recent Past Rob and see what he did. Recent Past Rob? All right, here I am in SparkFun's parking lot. I'm standing right on the end of this painted white line, and if you'll take a look at my screen, let me zoom in here, right on the end. I move the stick just a little each way. That is how accurate. All right, so I'm gonna try something. I am going to use this to attempt to plot out the spark fun flame in our parking lot. All right, I'll go to record. I will record my track, blah, blah, blah. All that looks good. Let's see, our accuracy, as you can see on the screen, is 14 millimeters. Here we go, wish me luck. And there we go. Not bad for a first attempt. So there's a good look at the accuracy of the new RTK surveyor. Now let's go back to the studio where it's at least a little bit warm. Man, it was cold out there. So you've probably seen devices like these surveyors out measuring things for streets or, or perhaps on large earth moving vehicles and graders laying out new neighborhoods. I think our aha moment came seeing students at Colorado School of Mines using these setups and realizing that those things start at about $4,000 a unit. Uh, and yes, if you are a surveyor, if you are laying out a brand new neighborhood, you probably want better than 14 millimeter accuracy. But if you're a university or a really cool high school that has a land surveying course, or just someone who needs incredible accuracy in surveying, or asset tracking, or even autonomous driving, then I think you're gonna find that 14 millimeter accuracy in this price point is exactly what you're looking for. Man, this thing would have killed during the AVC. So really, if you are looking for an out of the box solution for millimeter accuracy positioning with multiple setup configurations possible, then look no further than the new SparkFun RTK Surveyor. Pick up yours over at sparkfun.com and remember, stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking. All right, here we are. Let's see, how can I face it? The wind isn't gonna kill this recording. Oh, I feel like the king. And thirdly, in base mode, base mode, boom, 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 boom. check one, two. Boy, I hope this is on this time. Did I mention I feel so Jonathan Groff with this? I can tell. Yeah, let's not go there. Yeah, it was going well there for a moment. Cheesy, old school, but good enough. <laughs>